that this one too is for good. Let me give you five reasons why you should thank God. It's better we found a truth now and to bring closure to him and his story than to let him become missing. Like for instance, what we are experiencing with Castro. Number two, it's better that God cut everything short and call a true home than for him to have been paralyzed for the rest of his life. Number three, it's better that God in his own infinite wisdom decided to take him away now. So if there was any mistake and embarrassment he was going to bring to the family, God has cut it short. And number four, for all you know, a true was a sacrifice to your family. For those of you that nobody would have known, but for the sacrifice and the spilling of a true truth in this manner, we are all dignified today. Question is that when was the last time some of us seated on the high stage today had that privilege? Thank God for the actual sacrifice. Finally, it is possible. And I say this with my eyes open to all of you listening here. For all the journalists, for all the clergy, for all the sports personalities, for all the possible that I should die so we we'll all wake up from our foolishness. Our foolishness means we live as though there's no God. We live as though we have everything for ourselves. Our foolishness is that we think God is secondary. But we are coming to that place where your scripture is so apt. Please read it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Uh, read it, man of God. Read it the way you read it. Hallelujah. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So in conclusion, that is a message. If you don't know Christ today, don't forget that you are about to die one day. I choose God a go in the afternoon. He was supposed to be gotten to London at 11 p.m. Because of the celebration, he changed his flight. And five years after, five hours after, he was a dead person. It took 45 seconds, we've all read it, for him to lose his life. For him to make his children fatherless. And for him to make his wife a widower. And to make his family members mourners. Live your life well. So when you die, you will have a life.